Hi and welcome to createwithsue.com um, I've sped this video up because it's really boring watching weeding but I wanted to show you in a live format how you how you can actually do it it's very easy to do um, I, I do it a bit different than a lot of people a lot of people use it just their tool I use my fingers and I like to cut off any extra vinyl so I don't get in a mess and you just need to make sure that you, your pieces that you want to retain stay on the backing paper you just sort of ease the ease the vinyl that you don't want away from the parts that you do want as soon as you start getting into a bit of a mess with the extra vinyl give it a snip and take it away uh, I use my little tool to hold pieces down and help them out the vinyl then you see I work my way around you should do the outside first you can do it whichever way you want whichever way is easiest for you is fine so um, as I said before just snip any bits of extra vinyl off as you're going along I usually scrunch it into a little ball okay here we go um, see a little scrunch it into a little ball and sometimes it's a bit hard to get it started just ease it sort of up you can sort of grab it with your tool if you have too much trouble Kind of hold the pieces down that I want to make sure they stay on the backing paper. So I've got all the outside out now, and now I'll just remove the inside. If I have too much trouble with my finger, I'll get the little tool up, and that can help me get it up. So but this this is actually a very easy design to to weed. It's a good starting design for those who who are just lacking a little bit of confidence and want to. It's something like fairly easy to do. This be very easy you can also see in that top right hand corner where I've done my test cut it was actually cut to the right depth just pressed it out accidentally getting the vinyl ready to take the video uh, so that was okay just get all the little pieces out very easy to miss a little center I missed an E on a word the other day and I went oh dear <laughs> so it's, it is easy to miss a piece here we go so that's all the pieces out so um, I'm going to put it into a frame just a, just a picture frame it was a $3.50 picture frame I've given it a clean with some um, I'm actually using metho but you can use some um, isopropyl alcohol so using fairly cheap transfer sheet start in one corner and kind of ease it down just sort of peel it on give it a bit of a rub so the letters stick to the transfer sheet and then peel it up make sure you get your letters come if they're a bit hard to come to help them along a bit sometimes I take it all off and sometimes I will peel it as I go it depends what size and what I'm doing drop one corner and sort of work your way down just don't sit it too far down too quick and just ease it along give it another rub so it stays on the glass um, I like this little squeegee tool, it's really, really handy. Just rub till you think it's um, quite stuck. Grab it in one corner and just sort of hold it flat against itself and sort of peel it off. If any lift with with um, the transfer sheet and they haven't stuck to what you're sticking to, just, just put it back down, give it another rub, that's not a big drama, till they come off. This one's come off really well, so that's all right. And you can see I've still got the certificate, whatever the picture was behind that. Uh, it's better not to take that out too soon because uh, the more times you open those little tabs on the back of these, the more likely you are to snap one. Just using a little teaspoon to lift them up. Working my way around the frame, just checking under there to make sure there was none under there. And just press those little um, tabs up against the wood take that piece out take that piece out i'm going to put a pink backing behind it so put a little pink piece of paper in there and i'm going to um, put the cardboard back in as well just to give it make sure it's thick enough so it doesn't move around too much holds the glass firmly in place just feed it in so it's not hooked up into the the tabs Check that you're putting a, the backing on the right way. That's what I'm just doing there. Checking I've got it the right way up. 
and pop the back back on and then just press down the tabs again to hold the backing board in place. That's pretty easy to do and that's what it looks like. There you go, hope you had fun with this project.